Hey guys, it is Scott the Steamroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com. Saturday, the 23rd of March. It's the beginning of round two. Let's take a look and see what we got cooked up for today. But first, if you guys would be so kind to just take a moment of your valuable time, click that like button, give us a thumbs up. Appreciate it. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Click the bell, get notified every time we put up brand new content. And if you're looking for the best up-to-date information on every one of these games going on, make sure and check out winnersandwiners.com, the number one site in the world for predictive you. Uh, you look for premium plays? I got some. Check the link there in the description of today's video or check out and see who's even hotter than moi over there at Winners and Winners. Hit the Experts tab, and you can check all the records, all right? And, of course, last but not least, great deal from our buddies over there at BetMGM. Get up to $1,500 in bonus bets paid back if your first bet does not win. I believe that's a match situation, so whatever you bet for your first wager, if it does not cash, they'll match that for you up to 1500 bucks. So check that out. Further details and the link are in the description of today's video. All right, guys, enough about that. Let's talk a little basketball, shall we? Um, I'm recording this early, so I don't know the outcome of the Houston game. We'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, I have a, uh, a play that I like uh, quite a bit. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's, just, it's just four days away, but it already feels like the the full moon is here because I'm hearing those howling dogs, everybody. That's right. The howling dogs have arrived, and I've got one cooked up for today. It's not a dog. It's a duck. How about Oregon plus five against Creighton? Um, you know what? I got to admit, I was not a Ducks believer. If you listen to the preview video that I did with, uh, with Scott and David and Chris, I like South Carolina in that game. I played it personally, pretty substantial play, and it did not work out at all. As the Gamecocks kept it close for the first 15 minutes of the game, but uh, the Ducks went out there and absolutely dominated the last 25 minutes. Uh, Dante was fantastic, and uh, the Gamecock guards had absolutely no answer for Cuisinart as he went 14 for 22 from the field and dropped a 40 bomb on the Cox. Um, as far as Creighton goes, they played Akron, the number two team in the regular season in the MAC. Calkin Brenner had a solid game, but you know what? Enrique Freeman was even better. Now, he went for 21 points, 14 boards. Now, Dante may not be quite the rebounder as Freeman. Freeman leads the country in rebounding. Dante's 55th, still very respectable, 8.7 per game. However, uh, he is second in the nation in field goal percentage. And uh, like I said, he is a, a very good rebounder as well. Uh, he's a uh, very good post defender. And I think he's going to be able to keep Brenner in check. And guys, I've, I've got to admit, I don't love the Creighton guards. Alexander is fine, might uh, have a decent pro career. But uh, Sharma is the only one of them that's better than average from beyond the arc. And uh, for the Ducks, I like the way these guards match up. Shellstad's running the point like a veteran, and he turned the ball over just once against South Carolina. So they've got to have an answer for both him and Huisenaar. So we'll see what happens. Now, Creighton, they beat Akron by 16 points, and they did it by shooting a season-high 58.3% from deep and making 11 more free throws than did the Zips. You uh, put them at their season averages for free throws and for three-point percentage. Uh, they win this game by one and not 16. I don't hate the money line here. You want to take Oregon at a nice plus money? Don't hate that a bit, but I love getting a five in this spot. This is a different Ducks team since Dante finally got healthy and figured out how to get him incorporated into the rotation. He plays a lot of minutes for a big man. He averages around 35, 36 minutes per game. And that is extraordinary as somebody that's 6'11 and does what he does. I uh, like this Oregon team, the way they're playing right now. Give me the Ducks plus the five. And at the end of that one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right. Enjoy the weekend, everybody. Again, one of my favorites of the year. Eight great games on both days. 
Let's go out there and have some fun, make a little money. We'll be back tomorrow to talk all about it. You guys take care. We'll see you then.